Hello everyone, welcome to Engineering Graphics through CAD Laboratory. I am Rakesh Falasa. In this video lecture, I am going to explain how to draw the given 3D modeling in AutoCAD software. This is the problem number 2 in experiment 12 in AGD CAD Lab. Uh, this 3D model name is Fargir. Here I am telling how to draw this uh, 3D modeling in AutoCAD uh, in easiest way. So you can uh, first you need to open new AutoCAD file. Go to the quick access toolbar. Click on new. Here one window is open that in that you have to choose ACAD. This is for inches template because in the given problem having all dimensions are inches. So that's why I am choosing ACAD then click on open. Okay here no, no need to do any setting in this uh, template. Just you can turn off this grid lines. You can click F7 button. Once, once clearly observe the given 2D figure. This is the front view and this is the side view. And also you can use uh, uh, this tooth profile dimensions. First draw the uh, this 2D figure as it is in the AutoCAD software because you know that how to draw the 2D modeling in AutoCAD software. Just you can uh, draw as it is the given 2D figure with the given dimensions in AutoCAD software. Here the uh, almost uh, all sketches are in, uh, having uh, circles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, total 6 circles are there. Just you can draw the 6 circles with the same center point with the different dimensions. Take circle command, C enter. Specify center point for circle. The first circle diameter is 0 0.50. D enter, 0 0.50 enter. Next zoom this circle. The second circle diameter is 1 inch. C enter, specify the same center point. The diameter is D enter, 1 inch, 1 enter. Next third circle diameter is 2 inches. Repeat the same command, D enter, specify the center point. C enter, specify the center point. Next to diameter, D enter, 2 inches, 2 enter. Next circle diameter that is also called pitch circle diameter. This diameter is 3 inches. C enter. Space by the center point. D enter. This diameter is 3 inches. 3 enter. Here uh, two more circles are. Two more circles are there. One is below of pitch circle diameter. Other one is outside of pitch circle diameter is. According to mechanical terminology, pitch circle diameter below circle is called dedenum circle. Pitch circle above circle is called addendum circle. Here the uh, offset between this dedenum circle and pitch circle diameter is 0.214. You can use offset command O enter. Here the gap is 0.214 just you can type 0.214 enter now select this circle and click inside next one the outside gap is the offset distance between this dedenum circle and addendum circle is 0.381 now again click offset command o enter the throw distance is 0 0.381 enter now select this dedenum circle and click outside next we need to draw this tooth profile first uh, for for drawing the tooth profile just draw the one horizontal line that is for reference line take line command l enter draw one horizontal line now turn on ortho mode f8 just draw the one horizontal line. <coughs> Here, this uh, tooth profile end thickness is end width is 0 0.094. So, just you can uh, apply the offset for with respect to this line. 
so o enter now calculate control 8 calc for calculator the width is 0 0.094 you can apply uh, you can apply that width with respect to that horizontal line so you can take by 2 by 2 enter now click on apply just click enter button select this line click above that line and also select this line and click below that one this is the uh, tooth profile end thick end width and in the at the at the pitch circle diameter that width is also given that is 0 0.2618 you can apply same procedure o enter or take calculator control y2 uh, the given width is 0 0.2618 you can apply to both sides so you can take by two then click enter button now click on apply now i can click enter button select this middle horizontal line and click above and uh, below next draw the curve shape by using r command a enter uh, this is this is my start point of the arc next uh, second point of arc next end point of arc similarly you can apply to other side again you can use r command a enter specify start point second point end point then remove the unwanted lines or reference lines you can select these horizontal lines then click enter click delete button next also remove this pitch circle diameter just select the circle and click delete button uh, you can also observe this tooth profile bottom having one curvature is there that curve radius is 0 0.062 inches so you can use fillet command f enter r enter that radius is 0 0.062 inches now select this arc and this circle you can similarly apply to other side f enter r enter take the same radius 0 0.062 inches then click enter button now select this arc and circle now i can remove this circle then click enter button now apply the trim tr double enter now remove this this circle here the <coughs> this model having total 18 teeth <coughs> 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 into 2 so total 18 teeth are there just you can apply the array command a r enter select this uh, tooth profile click enter button choose polar array p o enter with respect to this center point here only six items are it show displayed of for adding more items just you can click items i enter number of items are 18 1 8 enter okay after this one uh, j uh, by using line command you can join any any two teeth profiles take line command join this two teeth profile next apply the array command a r enter select only this line click enter button apply the polar p o enter specify the center point this is my center point uh, items are 18 i enter 1 8 enter okay this is the uh, 2d sketch for the given uh, 3d modeling uh, for apply for developing 3d model just you can go to the uh, AutoCAD bottom uh, bottom menu go to this gear symbol that means workspace switching now turn on this 3d modeling next uh, in this workspace you can change from this 2d wireframe to uh, realistic view next also change from this top view to SW isometric view Uh, next 
you can go to modeling apply the press pull select this one you can zoom in zoom out for selecting this profile you can select this tooth profile select this one otherwise you can also use uh, extrude command for closed boundary uh, that's why I am using press full select this profile and click uh, drag to bottom side uh, you can also see the thickness in the side view this total thickness is 1 inch uh, this is symmetrical with respect to vertical axis here uh, uh, I am applying the thickness only for half of this portion next uh, I want to apply the 3d mirror tool so half of the thickness is uh, 0 1 by 2 that means 0 0.5 inches for uh, for outside to uh, teeth tooth profile 0 0.2 0 0.2 5 inches then click enter button next one uh, in the second this 1 inch and 2 inch circle uh, width is this uh, half of the portion is 0 0.5 0 0.5 minus 0 0.25 that is 0 0.25 thickness again apply the press press pull select this circles this this portion uh, this portion width is 0 0.25 in downward direction just click enter button next also apply the <coughs> thickness for this portion this portion thickness is uh, this is complete hollow uh, this is complete this hatching portion width is 0 0.5 0 0.5 inches uh, you can see you can rotate this 3d model you can see the complete uh, visualization <coughs> yes this is the half, half of the uh, 3d model of the spur gear <coughs> now you can remove the 2d lines uh, just you can select this sketch select this one just you can select this 3d model otherwise you can apply the you can combine those th uh, different models this is the one model this is the second model this is the third model so you can combine those three models by using union command u n i enter select these three models then click enter button now this the three models combined into formed into formed by formed to single object you can see here now uh, select this object you can move this sketch bottom side or out right uh, bottom side and remove this remove this uh, 2d lines just you can remove this 2d portion select that uh, object and click delete button now apply the 3d mirror after completion of this portion go to the custom view and change top view now apply the 3d mirror type command prompt 3d mirror then click enter button now select this object then click enter button uh, in that choose view v enter now zoom this sketch and uh, click space space center point it's showing a delete source object then click no now you can see here now the given 3d model is developed in autocad software this is the procedure to uh, you can develop any 3d model in easiest way in AutoCAD software I hope uh, this uh, this video is very clear to everyone uh, in the next semester you can import this uh, file into your 3d printer take the printout for that purpose you can save this file in the format of .stl that is available in the uh, this one export this file export and 
choose other formats other formats uh, in that uh, file types uh, you can choose dot uh, lithography dot stl dot stl you can give the file name then save that file okay i hope uh, uh, finally you need to combine those these two models because this is the symmetrical with respect to vertical axis so that's why uh, i have applied the mirror mirror command for this object so finally you need to apply the union command uni enter select these two sketches then click enter button now it convert into single object i hope uh, this video is very clear to everyone thank you for watching please do like and subscribe my channel for more updates